I spent 25 hours coding hot air balloons in Minecraft and man, they do not disappoint. The last Minecraft update is so awesome that you can create stuff like this without using any mods. In fact, you don't even have to download anything. I'll show you guys how to do that at the end of the video. These are 100% working hot air balloons. You can fly with them. They have a storage chest and also four different seats so you can go on an adventure together with your friends. But let's start from the beginning and let me show you guys how to craft them. All right, let's craft a hot air balloon. To craft them, you'll need the items shown on the first row of the chest. Drop them together on the ground just like this. And boom, just like that, you get hot air balloons. Well, not the spoon egg, of course, but these. Voila. <laughs> you also get a balloon popper, but we'll leave this for the end of the video. And there's the balloon in all of its glory. How cool is that? We can hop into the balloon using this ladder here. Voila. And now we are inside it. There are three different seats. This one is the main one, so it's the seat that the driver is gonna use. And also you have two different passenger seats, just like this. And the YOLO seat. Well, I think that the name is self-explanatory. You also get a really nice storage chest, and it's not just for decoration, it actually works, so you can place your stuff inside it. This hot air balloon works 100%, but of course it means that you need to power it with some kind of fuel, and that fuel is coal blocks. How you power it? Very simple, you drop the coal blocks on the burner just like that. There's a maximum of 32 blocks that it can contain. And once it's full, you will get a really nice message. Now, of course, we have to activate the burner. To do so, sit on the driver's seat and right-click on it so you can cycle through the six different flight levels. For example, now we have a fast ascent. If you want to descend, it's very simple. Just punch it and you can cycle down through the options. For example, this is a slow descent and we turned it off. When you turn it off, of course, it will descend until it reaches the ground where it will stop. Guys, I came back to the chest before our first flight. I want to show you guys some custom items that I made to help you guide this hot air balloon. We have an air anchor and a couple of uh, custom enchanted books which will apply to the balloon. We have Balloon Slowness 1, Balloon Swiftness 2 and Balloon Swiftness 1. To craft them, use these crafting recipes and drop them down on the ground. Okay guys, we are ready for our adventure. Let's hop into the driver's seat and let's start flying. Right, so let me show you the different items that we can use to manipulate this hot air balloon. Firstly, if you hold in your hand a compass, you will go in the direction that you are looking. And if you are not holding it anymore, it will remember the direction where you were flying, just like this. We are flying in that direction. If I want to go in that direction, voila, it will remember the direction. So you use the compass just to indicate the direction where you want to fly. Then we have the air anchor, which is this uh, enchanted iron ingot. If you hold it, well, it's just like an anchor for a boat, but now this time it works on air. Works like magic and it anchors you into the air. So basically the hot air balloon will stay still. Now, if you're not holding it anymore, it will continue flying. Now you can make it stay still and hover even if you hop down from the driver's seat and you will not fall down in the ground because this hot air balloon is complete in everything. Look at what happens, voila, there's a hitbox, so basically I can stand on it, I can drop items, they will not fall on the ground. If you walk past this barrier here, of course you will fall down. So make sure that you are staying inside the standing area. While it is hovering, of course, the burner is still on, so your fuel will be consumed, but you will have plenty of air time with just one block of coal, I think it's four minutes hovering. So you get plenty of time. And here's why I named this seat YOLO seat. You see it, guys. <laughs> when I hop down, of course, it will bring me inside. So, of course, you don't fall anywhere when you hop down from these seats. As you can see, I've made everything up to the detail. Now, let's see what happens if we want to fly very fast. Here's where these enchantment books come into help. Now, guys, as I showed you before, if you're not holding anything, you are going at normal speed. That's why I created some custom enchanted books which will allow you to manipulate the speed of your hot air balloons. First of all, you have balloon slowness, so when you hold it, the balloon will go very slow. So this is normal speed. You can see I'm not holding anything. Normal speed. And well, ah, this cloud. This is normal speed, and look at what happens when I use the slowness one. You can see that I go substantially slower. Then the next ones are swiftness one and swiftness two. Trust me, they will make you go very, very fast. 
this is the swiftness one this is how fast you will go and we have a swiftness two enchanted book this will make you go very 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 fast so this is how i like to place the items when using the balloon so it is easier for you to navigate through the different speeds you get your anchor which makes you stay still then you get the slowness which lets you go slow then you have nothing which makes you go normal then you have speed one and speed two while going very fast guys it is a bit finicky trying to find where the burner uh, interaction is so i suggest you to use the air anchor hold it and in this case it is uh, placed exactly where it should be and let's put it off just like this voila we have touched down and we can of course hop down from our hot air balloons it is multiplayer compatible so you can have multiple of these hot air balloons of course each one of them has to be powered so you'll have to drop coal blocks in order to power them and i want to show you guys what happens when you don't have any more fuel look at what happens it will just do a slow descent okay and now it's finally time to use those balloon poppers <laughs> so you just drop one of those balloon poppers on the ground like on top of the balloon and you will get the spawn neck back that's it from me for today guys i'm really thankful that you watched the video until the end thanks for leaving a like for subscribing and now i'll show you guys how to import this creation to your world type in chat slash give at p command underscore block hit enter then you go here on the redstone tab take a redstone block place down the command block go on my website which is linked in the description of this video copy the first command paste it inside it press on done not here just on done and place the redstone block exactly on top of it not on the sides just on top of it then you copy the second command, paste it, click on done, place the rest on top on top. And then copy the third command, paste it inside the command block, press on done, place a redstone block on top, and voila, part 3 of 3 was imported. You can get all of the crafting recipes by right clicking on this sign. You can remove the machine by clicking on here, and voila, this is how easy it is. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and make sure to watch this video in which I test the display entities which I used in this same exact creation.